originals have standards. Be polite, be efficient, have a plan to kill everyone you meet. Here. Welcome to a Tuesday stream. We missed streaming yesterday because I was way too heckin' tired. And uh, so I pat or I, I took some sleepy gummies and uh, they actually worked. So then I passed out and I still woke up late today and was still tired. So that's fun and new and not at all exciting or new. Actually, that's a lie. But what's going on, Yuri? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Cereal, what's up, my dude? How's uh, how's baby taking carriage? I'm assuming that's because, uh, or you are up taking care of the baby. Welcome, welcome. We're going to be playing some more, uh, Sable. I have no idea how much longer of this game we have to do. Um, th but this guy up there, he's just been kind of robotting for the last, since we started stream, is walking into that rock or whatever. Um... But I think we left off. We came to this new area. I need to go find some beetles or something, right? What do I got to do? I don't know. I have no no idea how... Oh, head to the cave. Nice. How much more of this game I have to do? Where's... Did I run all the way here? Without my car? Did I run all the way here without my car? Shit. Did I just forget? Oh, I'm a dumb. Car? How far away are you? Oh no, that'd be awful. I listen to music that I listened to when I was young, and now you feel old. Right? And then, like, if you do Oh man, I, I need to move that light. That, that reflection there is annoying. Um, and then you realize how old some of that stuff is. Like, uh... <laughs> Uh, someone on my Facebook recently posted about songs that came out like 20 years ago. It's like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Final Fantasy VII came out 25 years ago. They just had their anniversary thing with that. She's like, ugh, stop. Where's my car? Wrong button. Fuck. Did I just... Oh, wait. My, I think... Oh, it's behind me. Oh, car! Oh, thank God. I just couldn't get up that... that wall. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we need to go... That's real far away. That's fine. It's, oh, yeah, this thing... Can't turn for shit ever since I put that thing on it. What are you listening to? I, one of my favorite things to do... For, like, babies... Is, uh find remixes or covers of songs I really like or of albums or something as lullabies and stuff. There's like an entire Tool album made for babies and their lullaby and I fucking love it. It's so good. Been listening to MCR Good Charlotte Green Day for some 41. Hell yeah. <laughs> and he's just fucking sleeping to it. It's God damn, smoke. Get him started early, right? Get him hooked on that good music. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God, it's so far away. Also, hope I realized, I don't know how long it's been doing this, but I think it's since, like, a Windows update. I don't know how long ago, but I realized my fucking monitor has not been running at 240 hertz. This whole time. Or for at least a while. When I first got it, it was. Um, and I checked. And it was set to only allow 60. And I was like, what the fuck? Who changed that? And then it, like... N nothing above 120. Or actually, nothing above 60 was showing up in my settings for the longest time. I couldn't fucking figure it out. And then I finally did some tweaking and got it up to uh, 120. I'm like, that's still not right. Oh no, 140. That's what I got it up to. Like, that's still not right. This is a 240 hertz monitor. What the hell's going on? And it took me like three hours. Eh, maybe two. 
but I finally fucking got it working again. Jeez, it was fucking frustrating. Oh, 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 got a little emotional. Too often. Welcome to the Black Parade. I cried a little <laughs> when it came out in 2006. Yep. Been listening to it while looking at my son. It's usually, dude, I understand that. It's like to realize like, man, the struggles that you had like 2006 that, you know, that can just push you to a brink and then you realize you, you, you persevere and you push through and look how far you've come to that. And then you look down at the little one and be like, not only look how far I've come and I've uh, weathered that storm, but now I have something amazing right before me, you know? I feel that, my dude. I feel that 100%. And you know what? I'll say, I'm glad you're here too. I'm glad to have your friendship and to have met you. I count that a blessing. Am I just fucking going in circles? Where the hell is this spot? This cannot have been this far away. Like, I knew it was far, but... Oh, God. Okay, I don't think I'm going in circles. I don't remember doing that big of a fall. It's fine. It's fine. I did the cave. What cave? All right. Fucking... Okay, I'm, I'm close. Holy shit. That took forever. Yeah, I understand, man. When everything just kind of presents itself all at once. Yeah, that can be a little overwhelming. Oh, it's fine. Oh, shit. No, stop. Camera, you're fucking me. I can't turn. I'm stuck. My God. Get up. Cookies. Say he'll go get him this cookie. Go get it. By the way, stream started late today because I had to convince Jada that it was stream time. <laughs> Wake her up from her puppy beauty sleep. A turd. Just for her to come downstairs and sleep some more. What a butthead. Fucking, uh, where's this goddamn cave? Not even worth it. Oh, also, dude, doesn't the front of this bike kind of look like a uh, ruby weapon? Or a Pokemon? Oh, oh, shit. Okay. There's got to be an opening around here somewhere. Son of a bitch! Where the hell is this cave? I'm going around in a circle. If it's like... What? That looks suspicious. Is it like really far out in the middle of nowhere? Because I hate that. Here's the here's the cave, but... Go find the entr entrance. It's like 400 miles away. These look lootable, don't, don't they? No? Nothing on those? Alright, that's fine. I couldn't place it, <laughs> right? Yeah, it looks like a Pokemon too, but the, the Pokemon I can't place. Alright. Fucking cave. What the hell is this thing? I'm gonna go off in the middle of nowhere looking for this damn cave. Cave? Cave? Hello, cave? Whoa. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. the hell? It's moving. What the fuck? Alright, I gotta know what this is about. <gasps> worm! Hello, worm. 
Is that supposed to be lava? Why is it going sideways? Not Scyther. Grass dragon type? Maybe. It's it's the like the head. Is this gonna burn me? Okay, it's not lava. Why is it going sideways? Kinda kinda confused here. I think it's a like a, a legendary the one I'm thinking of. Or it becomes big. I think this is supposed to be lava, but it moves sideways. I don't fucking get it. It's weird. Why does it move sideways? Ugh. No cave. It's weird that I can walk in it. I can swim in it, even. Alright, if I can swim in it. Okay. Nothing behind it. Sure it's green and red. Like green face, red beak. Yeah, possibly. Actually, I think it, uh, what I have in my head, it has a red face. But I cannot place it for the life of me, and I'm not going to go through all 900 Pokemon to figure it out. Yo! Toss what's up, my dude? It's a lava tornado. Very common. Gotcha. I'm just, uh, uned un uneducated buffoon. Uh... Where the fuck? All right, this might be a quest. I say fuck it because I do not want to go all over Hell's Creation looking for a goddamn cave. Ugh. Actual pain. So when he, that R2-D2 stream, I haven't determined yet. I thought about doing it um, this weekend, which I didn't announce. Oh, snap. That reminds me. I thought about doing it this weekend, which I haven't announced in uh, chat yet. Or uh, Discord, which I should probably do. There it goes. Um, shit. Uh, I didn't set the title. It's fine. But the, the, I, it's not in the title right now. I'll do it tomorrow. But there's a merch sale going on right now uh, for uh, for Rooster for hitting his 24 months sub. So use code Rooster if uh, you so desire and you'll get 15% off. Um, there was a reason I alluded to that. Oh, because um, I needed just to announce that too. <laughs> but the R2-D2 one, it, it might be this weekend. Um, I really... Dude, I'm just so far behind on my, my dice stuff. I just posted a picture... And, uh, <laughs> that's not even all the dice in my backlog that I have to do. And I keep making more. Like, I just casted some new ones today. Or, I didn't, I, not new. Um, the, the Blizzard ones that I made the other day, the inserts, I casted the, them in their shell today. So that's going to be a whole new set. I just pulled a, like a pitch black set. I used, um, the blackest black paint. If you guys are aware of that to see if I can make it look like, because if you're aware of the blackest black paint, it doesn't, it absorbs all light. So even if you have like multiple faces, right? But you look at it, it looks like it's a single pane of black because it absorbs all the light and it's fucking wild. Go look up some videos and stuff. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, but literally like, if you look straight on something that's painted all the black is black, it could be a fucking model figure of, like, a Warhammer figure, right? But you paint it all with this black is black, it looks just like a silhouette. And it's fucking awesome. And I, I kickstarted this stuff fucking years ago. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that, see if I can do that with dice. Right? Because that'd be dope. And then, 
it was just like solid like that, but then you paint the numbers, the numbers would show up like at angles, but it would look like they were popping out weird. I was like, oh, that sounds fucking cool. So I added it to the, the resin and unfortunately it doesn't have that effect, which possibly because it's mixed in resin and resin has a reflective quality to it. So that might be doing it, but it also could be because it doesn't, it's expired or something. I never used it, which is a bummer. Um, but I opened it and it was like solid at the top. I had tried to mix it and stuff and it didn't work. Um, it didn't turn out at all the way I was hoping, but fortunately at the same time, I was like, all right, if this doesn't work, I want to have not failed sets of just like, I just have multiple of the same black set. So I mixed some, uh, like color shifting pigments and powders in another set. And it looks like the void of space. It's crazy. Because I added just enough that you, when you're moving it, you can see sparkles of different colors. But it's not overwhelming to be like, oh, this is a looking like you're looking at a galaxy where it's just like a, a star explosion of colors. So I, it didn't turn out the best, but it's interesting. I think I, as a person that thinks looking at space is cool because it's like just vast emptiness and it's dark, you know, I was like, that can that kind of looks cool to me. But like an average consumer, they probably like barely see anything. I don't know. Anyway. You're tuning into the R2-D2 one. Nice. I have no idea uh, how long it'll take. It'll probably take a couple hours. It's a big set. For just being, you know, R2. I am about two seconds away from getting the fuck off of this quest. Because this is obnoxious. You didn't find a cave. I'm not going everywhere to look for this goddamn thing. Cave? Fuck it. That's stupid. I hate quests like that. I really do. Teleport there. Also, I tried something today. I got some uh, sparkling mineral mineral water, unflavored, and I mixed it in with some sneak, a sneak powder, and it was quite tasty. I had to stop drinking it because it was getting late, <laughs> and I would be up. Further fucking up my sleep schedule. Get the butterfly. Got him. Oops. Why? Oh, that's one of my major complaints about this game. Why do you fucking unselect the thing I was selecting? Oh, what the fuck? This way. Man, some of the plants on the ground look like spiders and I hate like that one. I hate it. Oh, whoa, bunch of trees over here. First time we've seen a lot of trees. That's kind of cool. Bet you there's a ton of hidey worms in there. Cool. Speaking of, did I just see one? Whoop. Whoop. Also, I keep forgetting I need to call the fiber internet people because they were supposed to have a person come out this weekend to install the thing on the house that I need to have fiber. And I never heard anything. So I don't know if it got done. And I couldn't. Oh, God damn it. I need that. Oh. And I couldn't. I went to my account and I couldn't look up anything about it. And they also said when you signed up after they install the thing, you need to schedule another appointment for them to come install things inside the house. And I went to go find that and they don't have that anywhere on their website. So I don't fucking know what's happening. I'll tell you this though. I ain't paying for a month if I don't get it. 
No, you can just credit my account because you <laughs> literally did nothing. Oh, what's up there? You guys saw that, right? Hold up. What the fuck was that? Just testing weapons. Oh, the audio. Why is that? How do you do that in this game? Oh, I can't climb that. Who the fuck? Stop it. What is this? Melancholy mushroom. All right, we're going to we're going to jump onto this rock from this tree. Which is hard to tell depth when it's a solid color. That's what Okay, there you go. So you can tell you, you saw how there was like angles on this tree, right? But that's how the black is black paint acts. It's just boom. That's all you see. You see no you see no detail. Until like you spin it around and then you can start to see that oh there is detail. Whoa. Whoa. We got bones. We got a turtle shell. Okay. This area has stuff to observe. That is too large. So is that. Fuck. Well, damn it. Well, I guess I don't care enough. Where are you? Hi, spaceship. We're gonna go check out this. Actually, no. We're gonna go this way because I need... I'm gonna buy the, the map, I hope. What's up, Yuri? Welcome, welcome! Okay, how do I... Oh, God. I'm gonna have to parkour all this bullshit. I'm in? There you go. Oh no. Fuck. Are you serious? You can't, you can't glide from that. This game has been progressively getting more and more frustrating. Like. It, it's hit that level of like. Okay. But your puzzles are becoming annoying now. Or like this one. It's like. Ugh, I gotta find. The exact spot you want me to go. be able to jump and then you get that kind of stuff Ugh. and I just don't care enough you know the music's cool though also there's a thing over there I don't care Ugh. this is so annoying Oh, oh, I found a spot. There we go. I don't know if that was the actual spot. That kind of felt like cheese. And the worst part about like, see what I mean, mean by annoying is like, you get punished if you choose the wrong way. That could be like, okay, there's three ways I can try. And if you choose the wrong way, you have to start over. Like you have to literally jump to the bottom to start over to where the part to get back up. I hate that. All right, that looks climbable. Fuck! 
fuck off! Mm, see what I mean? Why didn't she grab it? Ugh, frustrating. Yeah, bounce your squid. What's Can up, Birch? Welcome to the stream, the scream stream. Ugh. That's annoying. Really hate that. Where was that stupid spot? Is it here? I think it was here. Start walking, please. Fuck! God damn it. <sighs> With the black paint, have you tried applying it after? Um. Yeah. I don't know how well that would work, though. Because that makes sense for, like, a model, right? But, like... I'd have to... I would cast... I would have to fuck off. I'd have to cast an insert of resin dice. And then I'd have to paint those resin dice. Which... The resin wouldn't want to hold on to the paint anyway, unless I primed them first. Which I could do. And then I would have to... Cast them, which... Then it might work, but at the same time... If it's cast in a resin shell, then it's going to reflect light anyways. So, I don't know. It would be weird. Have a late dinner? Yes, please eat. Why? Game. Why turn up the frustration meter? It started off so fun. Now it's just becoming tedious and frustrating. Because the mechanics are janky. Like right now, if I jump off... Uh, yeah, she doesn't jump off. She just kind of falls off. And sometimes she'll bubble. And other times she doesn't. And for some, for some reason she can't... <gasps> she can't grab while she's in bubble form. Which is annoying. Fuck! See what I mean? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can recover this. But, yeah, see what I mean? Like, I jumped off of the wrong spot. So then I'm punished. The only way back is to go all, fall back down and start over. Fuck off, man. Ugh. Herbs. All right, I found my way back. All right, last time I tried to jump on that thing, it fucking stopped me from doing it. Please, for the love of God. Why? Fuck off. I'm done. I'm done with that. Stupid. No reason why. I'm just not going to grab it this time. Why? Stupid. This is why you have indicators on stuff that you can climb. Or you pull Breath of the Wild and just say, you. What the fuck happened to the color? The fuck? Is that supposed to happen? What the hell happened? Hey, Wart. Hey, buddy. Alright. Going to the bones. I, dude, I don't know. Like, some, there's no indicator uh, as to what you can or can't climb in this game. It's just, all right, jump at it. See if you grab it. Nope, you didn't grab it. Fall. Start over. Super fun. This looks like a party. What's going on here? Oh, wait. Didn't I go through this? 
Maybe not. I don't think I did. I, re I went through some giant whale or something last time, right? If I remember right. What's up? Genus, do not startle easily, but this one jumps at my greeting. Oh, wait. This one jumps at my greeting. They give a frantic wave. Glide! Yes. Good to see you. Meet you? We've never met. I don't think. So, yes. Good to meet you. I'm Kalan. Kalan rocks back and forth, ball to heel. There's a speedy twitchiness to them, and their words emerge like too swift rush of wind, picking up little stones and twigs as it washes over the dunes. How's your, uh, life going? Things are a bit challenging. There you go. Challenging good! It's very apparent that Kalan barely registers my response. I'd like you to do something. If you're free or well, if you're not whatever. I'd like you to do something for me. It'll be a little bit fun, I promise. And I'll earn you a machinist badge. Quick into the point. Or quick into the point, see? I know you glad is like that. Speed. And things. Like that. Anyhow. What do you want me to do? Well, I want you to receive a machinist badge. And for that, I'd like you to, well, report on something for me. Think of it like a mission. Isn't that fun? Sort of. I take a breath to speak, but Clan has no time for it. You'll need to use your head for this one. I want you to go to the watch and take a reading of the sun. You'll find the equipment a bit, well, you know, outdated, under designed, cumbersome, okay, perhaps. But whatever the word, it is, it all still works, and that's what's important. Take the reading, and if you do it right, the face doors, the central chamber should open. Once you've seen what's inside, come back here. Tell me about it. Good. I open my mouth for whatever is the shortest. For whatever is the shortest period, one can open one's mouth and get no room to speak. Perfect. Yes, thank you. And thank me too, because you'll have more than earned a badge. Go on. See you soon. Can't wait to hear about it. Kalan weighs me off. I say goodbye. Later, bro. Thanks for the mission, I guess. Oh, <gasps> Beetle Man. Oh. Hello. Greetings, Glider. Yeah, to pursue my, peruse my wares. Tell me about this place. Not many make it down to this part of the world. Most don't like the bones littered throughout the dunes. They even... They say even the chalk deposits are ancient bones worn down by the sands. If you're so inclined, however, there's not a mere arresting landscape in Midden. Goodbye. Okay. What do you have? Ooh. I'm too poor for this shit now. God damn it. Loading weights inside each module adjusts the position automatically is quite poor driving movements, making for an easy drive. I'm too poor! Fuck! I knew spending all my money on things would be difficult. Yeah, exploration without obvious indicators should give players some indicator. Exactly! Like, Breath of the Wild, it teaches you, like, you can climb everything. You might run out of stamina. Or other places, like, you can't climb anything unless there's this, like, paint spray or something, something there to know, let you know you can climb it. This one is just arbitrary. I'm studying different flora and fauna across Midden at the moment. We can treat a lot of things using old tech, but we need some to be more and more careful how we use that stuff. It's not accessible to everyone, but in the dooms, it's hard to move, and if you lose power, we're starting to make progress in more local and non-technological remedies, but there's still a lot out there to study. Okay. Merchant? Merchant! Hello, bug friend. This is Ofu, the innkeeper of the camp. Do for you. Glider, I've got a job that you can do for me. Uh, do you know who Laura is? Can't tell you what she is right now, but I saw her. She was looking for the sleeping singers. There are a set of stone whales. Can't miss them. Fuck, that's one of the whales I saw. That looks like a. Never mind. Listen, anything else I can help you with? Still got that little job if you'd like. What's the job? I need some orange ringed beetles. Three of them. And I figure there's none better to ask than a glider. Our love of tasks is greatly exaggerated. That's true. Really? That's the only part I miss about climbing gliding. You get to help so many people and learn so many things. The rest of it's just sand in your bits. The gliding. Just sand in your bits. Ask where I might find the beetles. There's a nest north of here. There should be a few. But if you've never collected one of your ringed beetles before, I'll say this. They're skittish. Second, you approach, you bore, they'll burn, and you get away. I want to lure them over somewhere. Undiggable. <laughs> I tell, her, I tell her I'll do my best. All right. Find some rock or something. I gotta lure them. Hello. Oh, that was a weird sound. 
Scrapping ain't an easy task to wear. It's bloody dangerous and dead lonely. I guess that's where we do it, eh? What the fuck? Either way, every glider should check out the old scrapyard of a burn cold way. Just so you always some badges or cuts if you deliver any scraps you come across in your journey. Okay. Thank you. Hello. A child! Holy crap, they're tiny. I'll never be as fast as Sophie. I'm too little. Okay. Okay, let's go. How far away is that beetle thing? Aha! Wait, what? I'm out. Okay, that one was marked. Onwards! Alright. So, find some beetles. Then we gotta take them somewhere undiggable. After we lure them out somehow. Ooh. Crap, the color just disappears sometimes in here, this area. Is it supposed to be that it's shadowy, or...? It's five in, in the morning, or something? I don't know. Don't lose your bike when riding it. What the fuck? I'm on my bike. Oh, there's a blue glowy thing. Oh, there's multiple blue glowy things. Are these the bugs? Egg? What the hell is that? The fuck? Okay. What the fuck? Are those what I used to lure them? I'm confused. Keep an eye open for some beetles. Ooh. What were those things? This kind of looks like beetle thing. Ooh. Looks like one of the blue rocks could fit in there. I do not want to run that whole area. No, that's, that's just a little power thingy. the power thing I can climb this okay tell me you can get up here fucking are you kidding me game see what I mean about the climbing mechanic being garbage she was climbing nothing like her hands were in the air grab this thing for the love of god Goes. What's up, Pancake? Welcome to the stream! That time it worked. Okay. Yeah, it does. Oh, look at that face. 
Look at that face. You want this cookie? You gonna get this cookie? Forget it. He's gonna sit there and stare at it. You better get that cookie! <laughs> oh, the bear get it! Mm, it's a good doggy. <laughs> so lazy. Yeah, Vox mocking him is really good, huh? I watched it with Birch the other day. Oh, 10 buck, that's. Oh, it's on and off, okay. This might be timed. Aha! Nope. Stop it. Oh! Oh shit. Okay. Fuck off with this stupid climbing stuff. Why is it always on the edge of my grasp? Alright, that needs to close. There it goes. Oh, snap. Did that count? Go, 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 go. Jeez. And then you spend an eternity <gasps> breathing. You heard Vox mocking it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Birch will nerd out with you. Next episode is supposed to come out. It's supposed to be the next three, yeah. They come out in sets of three till the end of the month. And then then do they go like sets or one at a time or is that the end for first season? Yes. Reason why I was climbing right there is for that stinking corner. Oh, I can climb this? Okay. Okay, I got a little ball. Oh, and a power cube. Or sphere something. This is giving me disorientation. Oh wait, no, this is this is a, a money. Yeah. That's a money. Alright, this thing. I'm gonna throw back down there in case. Unless there's some sort of an exit. Nope. Alright, I'm just chucking this down. Come here, I need you. Make sure it goes all the way down. <laughs> Not me! Fuck! Okay, now you can go down. Hey, you did it. Come here. Okay, where was that plug-in? Right there. That's all for a season? Gotcha. You wanna know what the hell is with Plague Mask and Percy freak out? You have to listen to, uh, yeah, I'm assuming if you watched the original Critical Role, you would know. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, uh, Birch is definitely wiggling in her seat right now. Talking about Box Machina. I think it's cute. Ooh, spaceship. Oh, money. Oh, I was hoping those would all be an open up for money. That can't. Mm -mm. That could not have been it. This was probably a quest for something that I've yet to pick up. Because this is supposed to be glowing. 
so I can talk to a robot. AI person. Well, that was a bummer. That felt like a complete waste of time. I think I saw a worm up there, but I kind of went, oh, beetles. Okay, beetles. <gasps> Food. Fear not, my beetle brethren. I bring snacks. I want snacks. Snacks? Hello, snack. What are you doing, Jinder? I have snacks. Snack. You're too far away. Snack. Look at them all. Catch. <gasps> I know it's a snack. Go get it. Better not eat it. Oh. Guys, I don't think he sees us. We're having a staring contest with a beetle. Fuck. There's no beetles in here. Hey. I'm assuming this can't be dug through. Whoa. Oh. Beetles. Hey, look, snack. They're too far away. There's no way you can do this. Fuck! God, you fucking... Really? Uh, catch. Oh, yes, I know you want a snack. You can... Ah! Shit, no! Oh, God. A hard place. Achievement. Next! Beetle. Whoa, reading. They are sticking to the story of the campaign. They have some new bits added to keep it fresh, too. That's good. It's always worrisome that they're like, well, they're, they're fucking changing it. That's not. I understand that you want people to be hyped for something they don't know, but at the same time, it's like. They know and love this campaign, and they now they just want to see it in animated form, you know? The characters that, that look like Matt, he had no idea the animators did that. That I love it! He found out as the episodes aired, that's great. Did he, did he do a nervous chuckle? Need them to make him look like people that he voices, like McCree. I think it would be funny if they just, any of the people he voice acts and the, the animated, they just make him look like him. They just, you know, put his hair up or something. Sounds hilarious. Give him really thick eyeliner or something. Ugh, I need three of these motherfuckers. What was that? There's something up there. Oh, wait, no, that's what... Fuck. Why do you guys all have to be out of these areas? <gasps> A boy? Is he coming? Oh. A boy. <gasps> A snack him. You can't dig! Ah, ha, ha. Got him. 
Ugh. The degree of patience this one quest is taking is quite challenging me. Catch! Get it! It's right there! Look at this! Oh, you went the wrong way! Turn around! Yes, it's a snick. Grab it. Put it down. Run from him. Oh. I'm a sneaky bastard! Ah, <laughs> got him! Oh god, we're done. D&D looks amazing animated. Right? Did, uh, like, uh, that just reminded me. The Grumps did, it, like, a D&D spinoff a few episodes. And, uh, I, I get, some things happen, but, um, I kind of wish they would revisit that idea again. I don't think it did too well on their channel, but I liked it. I thought the first, like, episode or two was a little bumpy, a little rough, but I think they were getting into the groove of things, but... Then it, then it became enjoyable. Yeah, it, it definitely wasn't popular enough, which was a bummer, because I enjoyed it. They were having fun. I would love if, like... Matt and Danny and Aaron did like a, a one off. I would probably scream my pants off. Aaron would be get way into it. Danny already loves it. Wee! -hoo! I, I think that would just be a romp and good time. Crap, I forgot. Until just now, I forgot they even did that. There's a big <gasps> square in the distance. Hey, beetle person. Ah! Achievement unlocked fragile goods. That's a picture of a butterfly. Micah Burton is so cute. Who's Micah Burton? Or is it Mika Burton? Greetings, Lida. I forgot the voice I gave them. What can I do for you? I hand the innkeeper my collected beetles, and she claps a little before taking them and setting them gently aside. Beetle badge. Well done! Hope this one was fun for you, and if it wasn't, well, you've still done a nice badge for your trouble. I thank the innkeeper for the badge and go on my way. Did it. Go me. See, more Saren's terminals. I think I found one. It just wouldn't, you know, open up for some reason. Oh, it's not marked anywhere. Bummer. Arabs hold and collect three pellets of poo. Sure. Oh, seven sisters. Didn't someone? Oh, that's where um someone said lore's at. So maybe I'll go there. So I made about eighty from selling. Oh hell yeah, dude! Nice. She's a voice actor. Um, in in the campaign, who's she playing? Are you lore? No. Yeah, I I remember reading yours. All right, bike. Hard to miss the seven scissors floating around up here. Pretty incredible, eh? I've seen a climber or two attempt that climb. Really ends well. Okay. I'll go get my bike. 
Don't, don't climb that. My bike. Okay. Onwards. There's a thing up there. It's fine. Oh, holy crap. And you made eight. Damn, dude. You sold a, sold a bunch of those things. <laughs> I hope that's that is covering the cost of uh, your materials and shipping and all that. She's not in Vox Bonker, but she has been in several one shots. Ew. If this helps me find the cave, that'd be great. Can't see, there's smoke. A rock! It's fine. Oh, Birch, are you supposed to get a lot of snow tonight as well? We're supposed to get like 10 inches. Yet he's hoping for a snow day tomorrow. That'd be great. Oh. Go through the bone pile. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, as long as uh, you're paying for your materials and stuff. Oh. Oh? We're supposed to have snow. I don't know. I was asking you. Uh, but yeah, we're supposed to get like 10 inches. Can't see smoke. Ah, rock. whipped around oh there we go that looks like a thing it's like a path made for a bike no path i do not think i can climb that no that's way too far Okay. Well, it's around here somewhere. not this is why i don't play like wow like go in this general area and find what you need to do i fucking hate it i hate it so much i'm not good with fetch quests that are just ambiguous it is not enjoyable i don't actually you know what i don't think i know anyone that enjoys ambiguous go to this direction and find something quests no one likes those. So why are we still putting them in games? You know, stop. No one likes them. But the immersion it would be like that in real life. Fuck off! Stop doing it! And if you do it, give a fucking indicator. Butterfly! What am I doing here? I see. Mm. Why does it keep unselecting the thing you I chose? That's dumb. Also, look, it's bugged out. Love that. There it goes. I don't. I just do not know why it de deselects the mission I choose. It just does randomly.
Alright. We looking for poo. I don't buy a lot of the movement, but I, I did get commissioned to make about 30. Holy shit! Holy crap. Did a, like, a rescue or something contact you? That's pretty dope. Oh, my fucking god. It's beneath me. That's stupid. I hate it. This is also why I don't like Skyrim. Fuck it. I don't care about this quest. I couldn't find it. Also, it's bugged out again. <laughs> it, look, the, the, the selector is off the screen. <sighs> Love it. Can my webcams come back? Are you fucking kidding me? There, okay. That was fucking weird. OBS, stop it. Oh, that's fine. Buggy. The school psychologist did, gotcha. They're having a part, a birthday party for their dogs, not judging, but she has a lot of people attending. Dude, birthday party for dogs? That sounds like the actual only birthday party I'd actually want to go to. I'm too old for birthday parties. Wait, wait, wait. Just bring... This isn't the scrap person. was the yeah that's not the scrap person that's the badge person wait but it says it is I'm confused hello it's ten the atmosphere is tense and uncomfortable I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else Oh yeah, I've read that. Fucking... Why is it telling me to come right here then? Is the whole game bugged? Because none of the indicators are right. Okay, that... Okay. That one is. No, it's not. Look. It's telling me to go to the right when the dude is right down here. Hello. Oh. Really looks at me. You better have something good for me, Glider. Here's some scrap metal. He just gave me four hundred dollars. I could have bought all that shit. Fetch everything I found for him, handing it over piece by piece. Elton nods. Not a bad start, Sable. I've saved you earned yourself to scratchers. Scrapper's bad for that. Nice. Elton hands me a badge, lightly encrusted in pale sand. Yeah, sorry, that one was kicking around on my desk for ages. I'll give you a clean one, but he trails off. I say thank you. Eh. Say goodbye to Elton. Thanks. Can I? All right. Well. I guess that was that quest. I should go out and find Elizabeth at the bridge of the betrayed. Southwest of Burnt Oak Station in the northern Badlands. Nope. I need to use the old equipment in the watch to take a reading. Where? Aha! Guess we're going that way. I would give to rescue but your banda and his slip on collars. They do look great on kitties as well. Nice. Alright, Simoon. 
We've got things to do. So, do you only get these bikes if you're an active glider on your gliding? Because they seem like these would be so helpful. I kind of want to check out... Oh, there's that big metal whale. Go check this out real quick. Oh wait, I already did this thing, didn't I? Because it's floating. Oh no, I didn't. Because there's the ring. Oh. All right, where's the other rings? Wait a minute. This one's gonna have a door. The other one have a door. I just didn't go into it. All right, are these gonna be? Assuming it's also gonna be timed and going uphill is a bad idea. Nothing to loot. Using gamer logic of like that thing stands out from the environment. But it's obviously lootable. It doesn't work. Pancake with the butt plugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh oh, where's the next one? There it is. Am I too slow? God damn it. My bike's too slow. I like how my bike looks. Oh, what the fuck happened? Man, fucking stinking. No, your bike has to be a certain way. I like my dumpy bike, all right? Got a statue. Isn't what I thought it was. The watch. Butterfly. What was that, burbs? Have a good one, pancake. Sleep well, my friend. Appreciate you hanging out. It looks like a poo pile, but it's a rock.
Butterfly. I need it. No idea what collecting these are for. I haven't found anyone that's looking for butterflies. Whoa, audio. What are you doing? Oh, is this the sundial thing? Can I interact with this? No? Holy crap. Okay. The light actually moves. here at a certain time. There it goes. Wait, what? Oh, you were trying to climb something. The fuck is this? a couple of those oh there's a face like the starting glider quest I wonder if this is for end game like when I get a badge Welcome to the stream. Yes, we're playing the game you got. Thank you so much again. Ah, I do believe this is for endgame. These are all the badges. I think. Hello, friend. Okay. Well, let's get out of here, I guess. I like the story and stuff so far, but some of the mechanics are fucking frustrating as hell. And run into a few bugs already, which is a bummer. But yeah, like the story's fun. Yeah, it gets janky. Yeah. Yeah, I have quite a few bugs. That bug went away. <laughs> Sometimes game breaking, unfortunately. Um, the only one that I found the most frustrating that's not a bug is just sometimes you can climb stuff and other times you can't. And so you could be on a quest like, oh, cool. I need to get up there because there's a thing up there. I'm going to, I have to climb all the way up there. And so like you're making progress and they're like, cool, I'm going to jump on this wall and you go boop and you just slide off of it back down to the beginning. Fucking hate that. Awful. But the, uh... Yeah, there's some... There's some audio bugs. There's some there's some clipping bugs. And the most recent one I had is... On, on my quest log here, I would scroll, and it, it would, the scroll thing would be off the screen. And I, <laughs> and I... Oh, wait. It's doing it again. It's off the screen. See? Love that. So, yeah, that, that's the thing. Please, we fixed... The, oh. See? <laughs> it's bugging out.
Oh, right. We were playing hide and seek. All right. Have to go change my stinking bike so I can finish that stinking thing because I'm not fast enough. It's a bummer. You did have to reset once. Oof. Yeah, and there's only like one save point. So that's rough. So if you get a point of no return and you saved right before, you're kind of screwed over. But how you doing, Winter? Appreciate you popping in. The fuck was that? It sounded like I was getting attacked. myself okay let's customize my bike oh i got more colors doesn't look like it's changing color at all God damn it. The bug you know off my screen. Oh wait, I have enough money. I can afford more bike 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 parts now. Hell yeah. Hi buddy. I like them bike parts, please. Achievement unlock. Big spender. I don't have enough cuts. What? Oh, Bollocks. I just spent more money. Wait, can I sell you stuff? No, wait. Sell. Here you go. I have a million of these butterflies and stuff. I just don't know what to do with them. I only have two of those. I caught more of those. What am I talking about? The culture of the people? Yeah. I, I haven't determined if it's like, uh, like post apocalyptic or if it's just all fantasy. It could be both. Oh, don't say goodbye. I want to buy. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. He keeps what I sold him. Oh. Oh shit. I was in trade. God damn it. I want their big beetle friend. That's what I want. can afford that last piece. Damn it. God damn it. Didn't mean to leave. Oh, he make noise. All right. Now I got it all. Fortunately, I can't afford the, afford the clothes unless I sell all my stuff, but I don't know if it's useful for things. Yeah, but I was like, wait, everyone just up and left me. That was weird. Oh, it's faster. Oh, it's, it's way faster. Look at us on our sweet rides, yo.
Hell yeah. Speed bike. Whee! Holy cap, we zooming. Wait, where was that thing I was going to? That way. Nope, that's where I came from. Although it kind of was over there, right? There we go. Meow. Meow. Whoa. Okay. There's gonna be something up there for sure. Oh my god, the lag though. Oh crap, I forgot to turn that off. That was for yesterday's stream. Wait, where's the... There it is. Ah! Fucking goddamn! Why is it so loud? Let's get the shit out of me. Peanut, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Damn near give me a heart attack, my man. How you doing? Where was those... That crystal thing that I was trying to do last time. Where did it go? There it is. Whew, scared the crap out of me. What's up, Intel Bunny? Been wanting to check out this game? Yeah, Winter, uh... Lovingly kind heart and gifted enough... Or gifted this to me over the, the holiday, so I decided to give it a check out. It's pretty cute so far. Aha! I found it. Alright, here we go. Speed time. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be upset because this is the fastest bike. I can have anyway. What? Okay. Yeah, there, there, there is some jankiness to the game. That's for sure. I mean, any developer, I, I don't know how many people worked on it. Maybe one. But uh, there are some frustrations with it. All right, let's go check out our presents. And you kind of have to like fetch quests, unfortunately. That seems to be this whole game is all fetch quests. Thank you so much for the shout out, Yuri. I appreciate you. Yes, if you guys don't know Peanut, go check him out. Lovely, wholesome human being. Oh, I just realized. Those suck in when you're driving. That's kind of cool. Still haven't figured out what those are for yet. Oh, you are supposed to get up to 15 inches. Woof. Yeah, we're supposed to get in like 10. Yeti I and I were joking. It's like, yeah. They say stuff like that, and it's either they say you're going to get 10 and we get nothing, or like a dusting, or we get three feet. <laughs> you know? It's like, no, you're not helpful. I was right. Son of a bitch. How come I couldn't use anything? I'm frustrated. I don't understand why this is a mechanic. The strafing. It's snowing, yeah. It's been snowing here for a couple hours. You already have an inch? Nice. Bonk. 
Spawn. The ship. Yeah. Like, they even teach you, it's like, oh, to strafe, push this button. It's like. And I was like, okay, cool. Maybe there's a point where I have to, like, dodge things or something, but I have not had to use it at all. It, I haven't found a, a Neeson or a Re. Or a Neeson. A Neeson or a Reed. That's what I was going to say. A reason or a need for it. So I don't know what the point of having it is. It's not super pleasant most of the time, right? A lot of times, I, I am glad that, like, you don't get flipped off your bike or something, because a lot of times you'll just be coasting along and all of a sudden your bike goes like, Poof! and goes like, like blasting off into oblivion by itself. That'd be frustrating. Okay, so there's something here. I have some sort of a tool. It didn't let me use it. I need to use the old equipment to in the watch to take a reading. Oh, I've got more. Cool. Um, Okay. The fuck? I need to use the old equipment. Yeah, it didn't let me. Confused. I literally cannot do anything with this. Um. Dude. Does it want me to go in the middle? Butterfly. Need it. Well, money pot, too. Oh, heck yeah! Treasure Trekker. I got some new colors for my bike. Love that. Aha! Oh. It's observatorium. Did I do it? Is it expecting me to hop, skip, and jump across that? Because that looks precarious. A flash of light shines off something behind my eye and a piece of knowledge forms in my mind. The sun's stone manifests when the machinery is in place. When the sun casts shadows, provide the stone the answer it seeks. Uh, I don't want to fucking wait here.
When the sun casts shadows, provide the stone answer it seeks. Where? Oh, God. What time is it? It's one in the morning. And this little bubble just hanging out. There it goes. Does it want me to... I'm scared. Oh, God. This is precarious. I don't like it. I don't like it. Look at these pra platforming skills, Joe. Well, that one's lit up. They're all lit up. I don't quite. Ah! Fuck. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. Recover. No! Fuck. My ass. God damn it. Oh, I can just be here. Okay. Dude, look at the size of that moon. Let me. All right. <sighs> I'm gonna go check these other things to see if I can interact with them. Because I don't want to have to wait this entire time for the sun to come up, only to find out that I had to interact with these things and then have to wait for the sun to come up again. Aha! Excuse me. Okay, make things blue. All right, let's make things blue. Make things blue. All right. <laughs> We get that one. I have to do that from the other side. Son of a bitch. Oh, you're fine, dude. All right, not touch that because it's blue. This is the the main thing. It's five in the morning. Jump on this. For the love of God, I can make this. Yep. Oh, that was uncomfortable. If it would have bugged out and I would have kept climbing, even though I was done climbing, I probably would have screamed. It's red. Okay, they're all lined up. Okay. Hey, a thing. Did it. Now do I gotta wait for the sun? We'll find out. The 
colors seem like they suddenly got more vibrant, did they not? Wait, where was the thing that had the... It's below me, right? This thing. Fuck. I stole the sun. Beetle. Ceiling of stars. Achievement. I do it for all of them? Alright. Light them up. It's open. Okay, I don't think I need you to do all of them. Oops. But I did. Hello, eyeball. Or face. Hello. In front of me, some kind of projection appears as if by magic. And it's in its floating geometry, I see the lights that blaze in the night sky. I see where we came from. As I focus on each element of this complex visualization, I realize that there is something being imparted to me. That I am reading and understanding things. Knowledge comes in new, yet feels innate, as though I am being reminded, rather than taught. I decide to put myself focus towards... A small planet near the sun, the second planet. An unknown geometry, the glittering ring ringed planet, the twinned planets, the twinned planets, the twin fish, coral and cobalt, there seem to be small moons caught in their currents, the way they move is mesmeric, and it looks, it's hard to look away, it is said that these two are the most mischievous of the gods, and I recall the legends of, of them disguising themselves as children to lure kind nomads into the undercurrent of the dunes, among the abexi, these stories of the twins are perfect for scaring the too bold and too young out of venturing too far from home, it's a wonder we ever get on with our gliding. Part of me wishes that I had not recalled those fishes, though. And it, it'll be a challenge not to look askance at the next errant child I meet. I decide to put my focus toward the sun. Turn your eyes to the sun, child. If anyone gets that reference, Moira would! I can clearly see... Or, I can see clearly that the large glowing orb in the center is our sun, and so blindingly bright that I cannot look directly into it without feeling its heat radiate within my skull. Around it, celestial bodies move in a rhythmic dance. I decide to put my focus towards a small planet nearest the sun. Amos and her two moons flit about the sun like moths dancing over flame, the goat-headed god patron of the Abixi. Her wisdom and resolve made for some of my favorite stories growing up. She's always asked, she always seemed more accessible than the other gods. My teachers would say that Emmys is who we look to when Rohana is too preoccupied for us. I pictured her on her cliff above the Ewer, ever patient, ever open. They also said that through certain masks, one could see her shadow on the sun. I decided to put my focus towards the second planet. The second planet is Midden, or Midden, our sandy little home of an unremarkable rock, made warm and vibrant by the power and energy of the Perpetual. Looking at it in this way, I see another side of the Perpetual and cannot help but notice that we look ensnared and imprisoned by it, held in its grasp. A cold wind passes, but warms as I remind myself, no, we are not being possessed, we are being protected. I offer myself to that comfort. Comfort. I decide to put my focus towards an unknown geometry. I look upon a shape that I struggle to describe. It is pure and strange geometry, so bizarre and yet so orderly that it cannot be organic. I know immediately that this is the maw. This is the impossible thing that birthed the whale. I know from stories, from history, and from knowledge that seeps in my brain here that this was made by living things. Sentient ones with plans and intentions. But even though I know it, I cannot fathom it, its scale is incomprehensible. The magnitude of it is that such that, even in replica, I cannot look at it for too long. Something in me loathes it, I don't know why. I decide to put my focus towards the glittering ring. Alien, Alien, a glittering ring of golden dusk. 
Every little fleck that looks as though it's floating on a breeze gently through the sky. Are these what make up the stars? I decide to put my focus towards the ringed planet. Carab and his wings. When I picture it, the ringed planet is populated entirely by beetles living in a decidedly advanced society. It would be the perfect place for Saima, I think, but I don't love the thought of it myself. It looks larger than the other planets. That would be a lot of beetles. Time to move on. I time to put my focus on... I think I'm done here. I tear my eyes from the spectacle. I'm grateful to have seen it, but I'm glad to move on. The bank <gasps> Treasure. Imagine his trousers. Nice. Alright. Can I just... Fast travel? Yes. Ikadota! What's up, Koda? Welcome to the stream! Also, Kira, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Happy Chinese New Year to you as well. You're the tiger, right? You doing anything to celebrate? Child, you're faster than I am. You can't catch me. I'm as fast as a hoverbike. Oh, you're the one that that other person is worrisome about because you're fast. Ah, stop. Stop. It's fine. Hello. Have you taken a reading yet, Glider? Yes, I opened the door. And you saw what inside, yes? There was a model. Yes. Yes. Oh, is that what I also... That, that is what I hoped you'd say. What a sword. Well done, Glider. You must be tremendously proud of yourself. Using that little gliding mind of yours? I skirt past a little to ask if what I saw helps them. Immensely. More than you know. For reasons I, well, suffice it to say, helps me. With a few calculations and considerations of my own. But why are you asking about me? Did you learn anything? Uh... I pondered the perpetual. I tell them I found myself perplexed by the perpetual and considering its relationship to us. Fascinating! I can tell Kalan has long moved on. I'm not sure why they asked me anything, really, but I'm glad to see them producing my prize. Yeah, I was just gonna say, why ask these questions if you're just not even gonna pay attention? I got another badge. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. It's your sparkling little brain and hope. And perhaps I'll see you at the machine mass someday soon. Say goodbye to Kalan. I want to customize my bike. Because I got a new heckin' color. Oh yeah, purple. I dig the purple. Yeah, I like that color scream. Color scream? Look at my sweet bike! Hell yeah. Pokey time. time! I'm doing just fine, Coda. How are you doing? It's good to see you in stream again. Saw you show up uh, yesterday. I don't want no cookie. It's on your butt. If I was in this game, I would be either a machinist, a climber, or a scrapper. I, yeah, I like the machinist. Uh, climbing is fun, except for the climbing mechanic being kind of buggy sometimes. Thank you for the treats, Birch. Oh, enjoy your lunch, Care. I appreciate you popping in. Drinking game for voice Mac. I'm going to take a drink every time you hear Matt voice. I hear a Matt voice. He's not in it that often, though, is he? Cookie time. Cookie time for the Yuri. Oh, did you want him this cookie? He said, I must find it. I can't do them cookies. I have three machinists badge. Wait a minute. It's not marked? Oh, more masks. Ah, there. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. How's been my day? Um, it's okay. I uh, found out some stuff for work today that was uh less than enthusiastic, impressive. No, definitely not something you like to hear, but it is what it is. He's in it often. 
He, th he, pl he plays 32 characters in season one. Okay, that, that makes it a lot better. I didn't know he played that much. That, that makes me happy to hear because obviously him being the DM. He'd be like, well, he's voiced all these characters. The heck is that noise? You would hope he would be able to voice a lot of characters in the animated as well. By the way, by the way anyone that hasn't seen the Vox Machina animated... Uh, I would recommend it. It was really, really well done. The animation is freaking incredible. And it's all voiced by the original voice actors, and we love that. Atmosphere in the tent is current and uncomfortable. Claim my machinist mask. Oh, I was like, I thought that was in the fucking... I thought that was in this game. I was like, oh, she's singing to me. <laughs> I shall beat your ass. I show my machinist badges to the mask. Caster. And me. Oh my God, the noises. That the hookah pipe over there looked like a little thing. Oh God, it's a void. Oh, this is creepy. This is actually not a person. Oh, don't fist the hole. It's fine. The hell cause we, okay. My pants are clipping through my my dress. I don't feel any different. Oh. Machine mask. She went unlocked. Okay. That was it? That was it? I thought there would be like... That was very anticlimactic. I thought there would be a lot more to actually... Getting a mask. Okay. <laughs> Please talk to me. Yeah. Yeah, if you're looking to uh, learn anything about... That's kind of cool. Vox Machina. Birch is definitely a place to go. Looks kind of cool. Okay. Well, let's go talk to the machinist over here. See if he has anything to say about it. Excuse me, warning. How am I help? He doesn't care. Fuck! Man, doesn't care at all. That's not cool. Okay, well now what? That fucking quest, I still don't know what to do. It's annoying. That one, I have no idea what it is. Oh my god, that's so far away! You collect them and you get to shoot. Wait a minute, I have to collect all of them? Oh god, that's so long. Everyone's so colorful all of a sudden. Simone! We're going on an adventure. Also, Winter, you've played this, so... It is is the bike's name always Simoon or is it different? Depending on your play.
Oh, is it him? Gotcha. Maybe he just needed a fast bike to be able to get to some areas. Oh. It would have been kind of cool if uh, the name was random from a list. Whoop! Shit. Can't do that. Go up this, please. There you go. I believe in you. My ship looks like a little shark. Oh, hello. Wait, is this the one I solved? I don't think so, because I don't recognize this thing. Hello? Worm? Worm! Told you. I like hanging out in these. Also, still no idea what these are for. Besides just being a collectible. Thank you so much for the good vibes, my friend. Ah. There's an area for the worms. Ah, entrance. Keeping an eye open for that, the cave too. I can't place what, uh, worm what these ships look like they're from. Really can't climb that? See what I mean about sometimes you just can't climb stuff? Whoa, dark. Need to get up there. Maybe this will take us there. You can see it from Burnt Oak Station, I think. It's usually the tech you can't climb. All right. Hell yeah, dude. How many scrap metals did I just get? Cookie time! What's up, Lonnie? Welcome to the stream. Hello. Okay, just my cookie. We found a door. Worm. Got him. How you doing, Lonnie? Get him. Stinking thirsty. Okay, that's not the thing I thought it was. So that probably means there's still another worm. was going to turn out in my brain. Okay, loud. You need to get ready for bed? Do it. Go to sleep. I appreciate you popping in. It's good to see you. Hopefully you get some good sleeps. Okay, so there's a thing there.
Land. Fuck. Ah, it's an elevator thing. Got it. Oh, wait. Time out. Got some scrappies. Holy crap, it gets loud. What the fuck? Oh, this is the Breath of the Wild puzzle. Scrap metal. Okay, what did you power on? Half the door. Okay. gonna launch power oh what the fuck all right maybe I get another Here. Uh. Oh, fucking. All right, I did it the cooler way. Let's well, Moyer stream and say hi to Moyer for me. Okay, so. that there my god there's so many of them here I've only found two one two no I have three Point of that thing. Oh, to get it stuck there. Got it. All right, that's gonna launch that box. the theory. What? Goes up there. What the fuck? I do not want to solve this puzzle. I don't care enough. Nope. Nope, I don't. Goodbye. Hi, ship. We'll go on a fun adventure. Where was I going? Of course, it deselected the thing I had chosen. I think it was that one. Yes. Whoa. That's probably where I'm going to. Yep, lightning in a bottle. Can guarantee it.
to learn how to harvest crystals. Okay. Okay. How do I get in here? I think I saw stairs to my left. Ooh, wall. Maybe they weren't stairs, they're just wall decoration. Damn it. Smoke looks kind of cool. God, I still haven't found the way up here. Uh, why game? Why you do this? Went around the entire fucking thing. I think it's right here. Only one entrance. Are you serious? the time you're doing a thing and the quest is just fucking looking for a way up. If you don't make this. Oh, thank God. Why, why aren't you at an elevator? What the fuck are you doing? Walking or climbing into the wall. How does anyone else get up here? What the fuck? God. Hello, friends. Aren't you worried about the lightnings going off above us? What the? Are you alive? They're moving. Y'all are creepy. Hello. At first sight, the crystal farmers are so striking that I nearly gasp. Their height is immense and they move with such calm that I cannot help but ascribe some higher knowledge to them or see the wisdom of age in the curves of their backs. But then I remind myself, my reading is informed by the markers I see among my own people. The shorthands of my culture and these farmers are in no way beholden to my interpretation. I wonder what they make of me. Do you know Toda? What a question. I know him half as well as I should, and twice as well as anyone else. Because he is me. Okay, Gandalf. I expect his voice to emerge as a rasp, but instead it spills like silk behind his crystalline mask. There's purity to the sound of him. Every word reaches me as cleanly as a whisper in the air. I speak slightly louder than normal to ensure that I am heard up there, but I tell him my name is Sable and that Zaha or Zara sent me to collect crystals, but advise I speak to him first. There are no eyes on the crystal he wears, but he lights up at the mention of her name, and I still know where to look. How pleasing to hear that she's well. It has been weeks, if not months, since I have seen dear Zara. 
Please, tell, tell me, Sable. Are you on your way to become a machinist? I am. Do you see my mask? I'm, what you, I'm wearing the mask. Tell him I'm considering it, and he nods. The light catches his mask, and it glints with every new movement. If you do disguise, decide to scale that peak, there are a few better mentors than Zara. Now then, how may I help you, Sable? Um, um, what are those big robots? There's big robots? Those are the reason my shoulders are complaining and my knees are grinding to dust. They used to harvest our lightning crystals, but now we must loot to it ourselves. And it's not easy work. That's what happened. They stopped. All at once. One day after a storm that seemed otherwise entirely normal, they all simply stopped. Some fell over, others stayed up, but none of them ever moved again. In sympathy, I say that I must have felt a terrible omen. He shakes his head and it's the quickest I've seen him move. Oh, nothing like that, no. There's some explanation in the machine mechanics or the chemistry, even if we do not know it. And in that, at least, we can take great comfort. I nod and I think in some way I understand him better. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, I've never met a crystal farmer. I tell Tota that he's the first crystal farmer I've ever met and add that I hope it is, isn't rude of me to mention. He shifts his weight and the crystals on his back move lazily with him. Oh, he must look very odd to you. A little. I admit that they look a little odd to me, but add that that isn't a bad thing. I ask if I look odd to him. You don't, which is partially because I have met others like you, but also because we are the different ones. I offer that we are both different and somehow I swear he smiles. I'm not sure that's something we decide. Anything else they can do for you? Yeah. What is this place? Toto rises one of his walking sticks up and points it towards the geyser to the crystal plateau, leaning it at an angle that speaks to some impressive strength. We built it. It was made to draw lightning storms away from the rest of Hoka, or Hakoa, and concentrate them at the peak. As it happened, the side effect of that concentration was the formation of lightning crystals charged with electricity. It makes a circle in the air. Isn't it a wonder? We turned a bane into a boon and a boon into a culture. All the chemicals and coincidences that have conspired to create the crystal farmers. I nod in agreement. Suddenly this place I thought a factory feels more a place of worship. Anything else I can do for you? Yes. How do I harvest crystals? I tell Toto that I was sent to collect lightning crystals and ask first if I'm allowed to do that and second how I might go about it. You're welcome to try. If anyone Bazaar has sent you, I would consider talking you out of it, Sable. But she knows people, so I'll simply tell you. Toto Sand nods up at the plateau. Watch and wait for lightning to strike one of the obelisks, and when it does, you'll see crystals begin to form on its surface. You need to climb up onto the obelisk and break off what you can of the lightning crystals. You'll need to be quick about it, though, and get them before they shatter. Not that I think you'll have much trouble. You have a certain quickness. I thank you for his vote of confidence. Goodbye. Up here, I guess? following a logical path here. I'll keep an eye open for any sort of sneakrets. It's a giant... There's one of those giant robots it's talking about. I have to see if there's a worm. No worm. playing music though. Although, check this out. Okay, thought there would be something here. Mayhaps not. This is cool. Whoa, we got all that smoke. Watch, lightning is gonna strike and scare the shit out of me. Is 
Assuming I climb up that, those look like stairs. So these robots just kind of stopped, eh? Excuse me. Oh, I almost went just for it. Gotta wait for your stamina. Am I gonna fix their uh, robots? If I do fix their robots, I'd be like, how come none of them figured it out? They, they come up here them by themselves all the time. That was loud. Oh, is that a worm? the jump <laughs> fucking god damn it it's fine all right just wait here for an eternity i guess Is that thing actually moving Does it just go in order? I'm going for it. I'll figure it out if it goes in an order or not. Why? Don't you fucking grab sometimes? God. So annoying. Someone just got zapped. Did you hear that? How the fuck am I supposed to harvest these from upside down? You don't. Glider on the storm. Love it. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, the amount of waiting in this game. that jump I might have screamed oh like that just randomly decides not to climb for some reason like that come on oh my fucking god climbing is so janky they're doing that after you fall once might as well just go to the next crystal how many of these do i need fuck Oh, 
Hi. How are you doing over there? Come on. Zap it. Looks like something's gonna be zapping there. It's pucker in a butthole. Fuck. Was it the wrong one? Yes. Ah, fuck. I did this one too. Son of a bitch. Why don't you grab? Fuck off, Sable! Oh my god! Grab the fucking shit! Just fucking sits there and just glides right off of it. Grab it, thank you. No! Oh, come on, it was right there. How many of these fucking things do I need? Oh. I didn't need that. I just needed one. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, God. The, the only reason that one was frustrating is because the climbing mechanic is just fucking hot garbage sometimes. Surprise is coming here. Dust Bros app tomorrow. <gasps> what is that? Because it's supposed to snow like crazy tomorrow. All right, Zara. Where you at, friend? Those look like barbells. Isn't Zara the machinist? No? That was you. It is. Get those crystals yet? I sure did. I give her the crystals and she nods approvingly, tossing them around in her hands and inspecting the cracking, glowing, or cracking glow of each one. I stand imp impassive, my arms crossed this time. You knew exactly what you were sending me into, didn't you? Uh, what do you think? I think you, you deserve a badge. Zara hands me a machinist badge. All right, I didn't need that. Ask her what she intends to do with the crystals. You'll like this. I'm building bike parts, and I'm happy to offer them up for trade. If you got a mind to make something big, fast, and electric, I just perk up. You'd have to slap it together yourself, but that's how you bond with a bike, right? Putting it together piece by piece. Bonding with a bike. I think of the soft static hum I feel in my hands when the sun is warm on smooth surface, and how she brings to mind a ba basking be or basking beast. We do bond her and I, don't we? I tell Zara I'll be sure to come by the machinist next. I need such things, and we say goodbye. I'm gonna have to pay for it. Son of a bitch! I just brought you those crystals, man. Ugh. Damn it! I just bought you those. Brought you those. You could have gave me a discount. Lame. Hard been seeing follow the path. Follow the path of the archer. Oh shit! Oh, where were those statues? With the archer, son of a bitch. Did you hear about the submarine industry? You really took a dive? <laughs> Love the dad joke. Fuck. Those were... Here, maybe? Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is the thing I just booked it through that one time because I was just trying to get to the, the town. I'm supposed to be can spend some time here. Oh, not right there, though. Hey, I found a reason. For the strafe. Or you can just do that. Never mind. Okay, what do we got here? What is this? I like the sound my new bike engine makes. Worm. All right, what do we have here then? Is it just another way up? Yep. Okay, we got all these red cables means there's some plugins up there's some stuff over here that's moving all right what do we got can you climb no oh ladder wasn't that just red like it was red and then it turned green like when it went out of focus. Ah, see, they do change color. Okay, we got some sort of plant here. We gotta be on top of that tube. Hop there. Okay. God, so much running. I don't think I care enough. It's too much running to solve whatever's here. Can my bike show up, please? Looks like a scrap pile. Come on, bike. There's another worm. Bike isn't showing up. Mario! 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 That reminds me of that. Hello. What's up, Space? Hello. Welcome to the stream! How you doing, friendo?
Oh my god. Bike. Please fucking show up. Ugh! This is annoying! Fucking bike? Really? Just gonna sit over there? Not even try to come here? How fucking annoying is that? Fuck you, game. Still not even trying to come here. God, that's annoying. Fuck that. Oh yeah, there's, there's a bunch of commands. Okay, that's not where I thought I wanted to be. I could have just fast traveled out of there. That might have been the smarter thing to do instead of running around looking for my bike. Shit. This is also not where I wanted to be. And you go to the place with the bones. The fuck? I don't remember this place. Oh, right. Fucking, I'm looking in the area that's not observed. It's in the observed stuff. Oh, goodness me. I'm gonna drink a ton of juice. After this. Nope, this is not where I wanted to be. Son of a bitch. Okay. Also not where I wanted to be. How come I can't find the place that's the bones? What the shit? Is it not like a town? What the fuck? Honestly, where the fuck? How? How is the place of the bones not a quick port? gonna go off this way I guess what is this way I guess I'm going that way I'm gonna go this way whoa 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 Oh, 
I might be able to get that. Nope. Oh, can't see nothing. Come on. No. Something interesting going on over there in the distance, too. Oh, this is that floating crystal. I didn't know it would be a, a cartographer balloon. Okay. How the fuck? Will I be able to climb all that? Guess we'll find out. Nope. Oh, that worked. Just hang up. Fuck. Oh, just hang out right here. Yo, is that an entrance to a cave? Right down there. I don't think so. Also, there's a big hole over there too. Fuck. What the jeez game? rocks I don't know if I've been over there Not gonna chance it. Do want do not want to climb that all again. Oh fucking don't bug out on me like that. climb up this and jump across that seems to be and do it again Goofy music. Hey, he's got one of those blue crystals that, oops, that we found earlier. Okay. Oh, no, he doesn't. They're just his lights. Hello! The cartographer responds to my greeting with a grunt, and I assume some practice eye rolling. Fuck, I don't have money. Came all the way up late. All the way up here to bother me. Mm, did you ever think there may be a reason that I'm up here with all of these bones? You murder people? Look at his weird hat. I tell him I hope he's... hope it's that he's a cartographer. He snorts but waves me on. Any local points of interest? He seems eager to be rid of me. Depends on what you find interesting. A couple of fools have started putting in time in the old settlement on the, the ivies. They'll have to climb. It seems you don't have much trouble with that, whatever, whether invited or not. There's also a wreck strip hanging off a cliff face there, if you're brave and stupid enough to try and scavenge it. Oh, 
And the bridge that's betrayed is around here too. It's quite safe in spite of its name. Oh, I need to go there for a quest. The cartographer barely acknowledges me. But other regions are near. You probably came from the north, yes? Head back that way for Sand Sea and Red Sea. To the east and what? To the east, the wash in the petrified forest. To the west is Hakoa. But you'll be doing some cliff hopping. He seems to me. He gives me a once over as if to develop my quiff, quiff hopping potential. You'll probably be fine. The cartographer really barely acknowledges me. Can I buy a map? Fine. I am far too poor. Nine bucks. What? I don't even. Oh, that's a cartographer badge. Son of a bitch! Please tell me it's marked on my map. It is, thank God, so I can come back here. <gasps> a ring. Nope. I want to look around. All right. Better come over here, bike. Bike. Ugh. There it is. Why you take so long, bike? Fuck off. Why are you so goddamn slow? This is annoying. I don't even think it was coming to me. I think it was just rolling down a hill. It doesn't even respond. All right, where were those rings? I don't remember now because stinking had to go uh, go get my bike instead of it coming to me. Okay, one ring. Alright, we got this. Oh, except the smoke. I got the speedy bike. Although if it's gonna be like you need the electric bike. Because of its super speedy nature, that'd be annoying. Nailed it. No idea what these are for. But I'm doing them. I do be doing them. God, this area is crazy laggy. That was fun. Cool. <laughs> Got a bunch of those. Don't know what they're for. Let's keep going that way. Just doing a, an observe whoop. Bonking into things. Why is it just stutter like that? I don't get it. I'm not dropping frames. 
PC's running fine. Just this game is also and then does that for some fucking reason. Looks like a volcano over here. I want to go see. Smoke always in my eyes. What if I just go down here? Is this going to a new area? According to the map, it looks like it should be, but... Sun's rising. Up to the dawn of the morning of the fifth day. At dawn, look to the east. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm in it. Whoa. Excuse me? Something showed up on my map. When I zoomed in. What the heck is that about? Woo! Who's growing bones? that heckin loud noise some like insane machine machinery going on but there's nothing there that happens all the time oh it's that fucking I know exactly where I'm at stupid place is like go find the cave there's no cave here. Come on, fucking climb. Thank you. What the fuck is happening? God. The game is like hit a bug out spot in the game in it and like it's just getting perpetually worse. At least that's what it feels like. Holy crap. Is my bike gonna join me? It's right over there. It better. Also, I don't know why this mechanic stopped working. I call your bike and it shows, but comes and gets you. 
Mine just doesn't work anymore. Really fucking cool. Really love it. It's very helpful. Fuck you, bike. God damn. It just doesn't work anymore, dude. Look at not even trying. God dang. How frustrating. Okay, so that's that garbage area that makes no sense. I don't know why it has a marker on the map. This is cool. There hasn't been anything for like 15 minutes. Sound like I just hit a horse. All right. We're pretty much at stream time anyway. This is where I'm going to call it, my friends. Uh, I'm just getting... Oh, this game is just getting becoming a, a it becomes a slog at some point. Like at the beginning, it's really cool because it's new. Um, the art is different. Like right now, it looks great because you're holding still. Um, it's got an interesting take on things, but eventually it becomes it's fetch quest hell. The entire game is built be built on fetch quest, which I am not a, a biggest fan of. Um, and then on top of that. Some of the mechanics are janky. Today, the game has been super buggy. And then beyond that, it's there's so much downtime of not doing anything. I understand it's part of it's supposed to be part of the experience of like, hey, it's you alone out in the wilderness, figuring out what you want to do with your life, you and your your, your speed bike, whatever. And that's cool and all. But in order for that to like really like be enjoyable, the environments and the, the the travel needs to be interesting and at first when you first hit the new areas it is cool because it's different it's like okay cool all right this area is like sandy it's got some large dunes we got these new green flowers and interesting new plants and stuff but that's it like that, that's interesting for a total of two to five minutes there's no like oh man look off in that distance look how pretty that looks or anything there's none of that to keep you interested in wanting to be like, you know what? I'll go off path and go find stuff because I can distract myself by looking at things or being interested in things during the travel. But there's just so much downtime of, all right, I just need to find where I need to go. All right. And then once you get to where you need to go, then you have to deal with the possible frustration of the mechanics of the game, such as, Aha, uh -huh. this was a go find the cave area and it's probably like 400 meters away from the marker is on your map. So that's fun. Or it's a fetch quest based on, hey, find out the area that you need to climb to start climbing and then fight the climbing system and hope you make it up it. And it becomes, it quickly becomes too much. Even though the rest of it is enjoyable but i don't think i want to go get the rest of the badges especially some of them that i have no interest in like um like if i am to is this the one i already did no if i'm to equate it to uh like another game like what's what's some things besides fetch quest obviously that i'm just not a fan of in games like i, I like combat i'll do combat quests combat quests are cool um 
I don't like delivery quests, so I wouldn't do that, you know, but like this one is like, it wants you to do all of those. And I kind of wish you didn't have to be like, Hey, I actually like being the machinist. I think it's cool. It's a cool idea. I like the idea that uh, I can talk to machines and I'd be all for it. Let me finish the game. Don't make me go get the rest of the badges. That sounds bananas. You know, the world, it, yeah, it's really empty and I understand it's supposed to be kind of like a wasteland and stuff, but give me something to distract myself when I'm just, you know, biking around, but there's nothing. There's nothing to like hold my interest. It's literally like, oh my God, how much longer do I have to keep driving to get to where I'm going? And that's kind of a bummer. Because, like, if they had stuff to look at, I'd be all for it. Wait, is this... It's just another one of these. It's fine. And I, I think some of its faults... Or a lot of its faults, unfortunately, outweigh a lot of its charm. Like, I like the art. And the, the, the sound is really good when it's working. Um, like, the music bugs out a lot. Um, but everything else is kind of great. I just... I hate fetch quests. It, they're so tedious. And if your mechanics don't work well in your game, the 20 minutes it takes to get somewhere to only get punished by, for some reason, your mechanic bugging out. I just, achievement unlocked, hooray. By the game bugging out by your character just not grabbing onto a wall that is grabbable or would otherwise be grabbable because you'd been grabbing it all game. It's like, okay, cool, bam. Nope, this one's not grabbable, apparently. And Winter brought up a good point of like, maybe it's just like the tech stuff that is always not grabbable. Sweet, I'm all for it. Make it not grabbable. But like, there was those, those walls that I've been climbing on that, like that mushroom area that I was trying to get up to that cartographer stuff. I was like, hell yeah, dude, let's climb that. And I'd been climbing it the whole time. Then all of a sudden I hit a part of it that she just refused to touch. She hit it and just slide off of it. So, I don't know. There, there, there's a, there's a lot of keeping things, or there's a lot of things holding it back. Which is a bummer, but I don't think I want to. I'm, I played three days. I'm at least nine hours into the game. I have one badge. I think. I have one badge. And there's six. That's too many more hours. It's it's really slow and stories slog to piece again. Yeah, and like it's really charming, but like I think if it was like a six hour game, I think it would have been fantastic because then you're not stuck with the getting annoyed by the mechanics. You're not stuck with the oh I've seen this kind of area already. I'm done with it. Literally just tune out and just drive to your next area. If it was like a four, five, six hour game, I think it would have hit that, that, that sweet spot of you got just enough of the game that it didn't outlast its well or outstay its welcome. And I'm at the nine hour mark. And even like if say I finished it in two more hours, that even sounds painful. The painful is a little too strong of a word. That sounds like too much of a slog to me to even want to attempt it. You know? But if it would have been, like, if it smashed all this nine hours that I did into a five-hour segment and to complete the game, I think it would have been fantastic. It would have came in, did what it needed to do, you enjoyed touching into these little bits of each of the, the badges, and you got the ending. I think it would have been... A nice, sweet way to be like, cool. You did everything that we wanted you to do. Didn't get annoying. Didn't out say it's welcome. Well done. But, fuck. It's a bummer. Like, there's too much. Can you swing by a local Japanese place or a bowl of ramen? Oh, I would love me a bowl of ramen. But it's, it's, it's snowing here, Yuri. Ain't leaving for nothing. I appreciate it. Thank you so much again, Winter. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Um, I, I do enjoy playing these games. It, and like I said, it was on my wish list. Um, so I, I definitely enjoyed playing it. Um, 
and giving it a shot. Um, I just kind of... It's a bummer. That it's just like, oh, there's just too much. It's, it's, there's just... Or, or even if they just shrank the world a bit. Then it wouldn't... I, I mean, then I guess you wouldn't get that feeling of like, hey, you're, you're finding yourself. You're out here alone with your bike. I understand that. But if they would have... If they would have dropped it to like... Two badges. No, not even that. You know what would have been cool? Is if instead of three badges... You had like one key person of say your tribe was just expansive and went out all across the place and there was like one key ma machinist you had to talk to or one key cartographer and the, the idea was hey it's like master cartographer right he takes on disciples or students or something and what if you the idea was you go talk to them he gives you a bunch of quests Maybe not a bunch, obviously, because that just expands the time. But the idea would be like, hey, you can go find his other disciples, talk to them, learn about some cartography or something. And then once you finish four or five quests, you go back to him. It's like, hey, cool. You, I approve. Here's your badge. You can become a cartographer if you want. I think that would have been cool because then it cuts down on the, the sheer amount of like, go find all these quests and figure out which ones you need to do to actually complete some badges you know which i guess you could probably argue that each person you know which badges are which based on the person you talk to like i don't think i needed to do i don't know maybe i needed to do that mystery one that's in a or whatever but it, it, they're just oh it's too heavy or it, it there's <laughs> I want to say like there's too much meat to the sandwich but there's not it's there, there's too much bread for the sandwich you know like you you got, you got a little bit of meat you got a little bit of vegetables like tomato and lettuce you, you got your toppings you got you got your like mayonnaise maybe a little bit of butter or mustard you know maybe with some oil and stuff and it's like yeah it's got a little bit of sustenance there but there's too much fucking bread and the bread being Nothing is here. There's no sustenance here. It's just too much fucking carb. That was a horrible analogy, but that's the best I could come up with right now. <laughs> as far as Condor, you veil through Techie's tech story that you're actually on a failed terraforming experiment. That makes sense because there's a lot of like old tech that is obviously far too advanced for what these people have. Um, and that part I was interested in because I was looking for Saren. And then I got to that one ship. That I got in, there's a terminal there that I couldn't interact with for some reason. It didn't glow blue. I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was a bug or if it was another quest later. But I found it. I got into it. Give me the terminal. Don't punish me. Or say, no, 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 you did this too early. You're not allowed. I hate when games do that. It's like, be smart. Be a game. It's like, yo, you figured this out early. You may not get the full, like, you can talk to it. But maybe whatever it goes with. You don't get the full thing until you find the person that was supposed to send you to the quest and be like, oh, look, I found the thing. You're like, oh, fuck yeah. All right, cool. Thanks. And just have that. I, I understand that's a lot to, that's a lot more work for code and stuff, but fuck, I hate that. It's like, no, too bad you got into this area early. You have to come back after you get the actual quest to come here. It's like, I was already fucking here. You no. Know? So I think they're trying to make a desolate world because of that. Not a good... No, I understand. And, like, even if it was, like, a post-apocalyptic... I understand the desolation, and there's, like, not much going on, but... You need to give me some reason to care about going around the world on these long treks of literally empty. Besides, to finish the game. That, that is not enough reason to say... We're going to make this long, expansive area that you just go travel on. And the the, we're, the way we're going to keep you engaged is so you finish the game. That's not enough. It's like, no, no, keep me engaged in wanting for a reason to finish the game. Not the reason to finish the game isn't to just finish the game. You need to give me a reason to want to finish the game. And unfortunately, a lot of games lack in that. And that's a bummer. But again, indie developer, small, probably team. So I like I. Like the art right here, really like it. And it's a unique art style with the world and stuff, but 
there was there's just not enough there to keep me engaged enough to want to continue especially after nine hours and i don't know if who published it if they had to go through a publisher and maybe they're maybe i don't know maybe their original plan was like hey it's a two-hour game and the publisher was like no no like if we're gonna help fund this you need to make it longer and then maybe that was some of it i don't know because i know a lot of fucking companies do that they're like no we have this really cool idea for a two-hour game and like no it's not long enough we want you to sell this at twenty dollars so and then the developers like well no one's gonna pay two dollars or twenty dollars for a two-hour fetch quest game I mean, not many. Um, and they're like, well, you gotta extend it. And they're like, fuck, now we gotta throw a bunch of crap in it that we really didn't want to do. And then it, then it, again, then it loses that sustenance. It doesn't become that delicious, thick, del juicy sandwich that you were going for. It becomes a giant loaf of bread with some sandwich stuff in it. I really need to stop using that analogy. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this after I save. I might come back. Oops. Why oh, can't? Um, I can't move over. There it goes. There it goes. Um, I might come back to it in the future. I don't know. It's just maybe if I like, I'll take some time. And I don't know. Like I don't know if you guys have that too, but like if you step away from things for long enough, like you you'll get that reinvigoration. You get that motivation to do something in because i want i'm interested in to know like the ending that you were saying winters like what actually happened to this in this world or like i would like to see me find my 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 tribe again and be like hey look i'm i'm back here's my badge or, or here's my mask or whatever something but i like this but the, if I have to play another two hours, another six hours, I should have done that. If I had to play another six hours or even another two hours, I'm going to lose my mind. Um, part of me is like, all right, well, you could finish it. Just fucking look up a walkthrough. But then I'm like, I'm not, I can't do that as a gamer. Like, I know a lot of gamers do that and it's fine. Like, play how you want. But to me, like, I don't, I'm not playing the game. I'm reading a script that plays the game for me. I'm, ju I'm just the middleman moving the joystick, you know, and that's not enjoyable to me. Like, I'll go look up, like, if I get stuck, I'm more than happy to go look up something. But the idea of, like, go look up a walkthrough to finish the game, it's like, do you, was it really worthwhile your time? You didn't really finish the game. You might as well just went to YouTube and saw the ending at that point. I don't, you know, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, but... That's a, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna call it here. Let's see, maybe we, uh, do we have a friend of Reno that we can go streaminate or send some love to? Uh, I should exit the game. Ah, please be muted so I don't hear myself. Yes. Ah, we muted. And that, the person singing there, I really like their voice. I kind of wish they were more in the game. Like, even that, like, what they could have done with the music is like, there's just so much empty. It's like, okay, we noticed that you've been driving and there's nothing really around for 20 so seconds or something. You fade in some music or something. Someone's singing. Then you have something to like... I got distracted. Hold on. Then you have something to distract your brain or something else to focus on besides the, like there's nothing here. I'm nothing interesting. My brain... I'm literally thinking about work. I'm thinking about some dice I want to do. I'm thinking about everything else besides playing the game. You know? And what I just got distracted on is Critical Role is live right now with just chatting. What are they doing? Uh, we're not going to go raid Critical Role. There's no fucking way. Um, Kim is playing DVD. What? Um, I'm looking at some people we can possibly raid. Okay. Critical Role, they're doing the just chatting. I wonder what they're talking about. The Legend of... Oh, they're talking about... Oh, they're doing a watch party right now. Yo. Okay. That's kind of cool. Oops. Shit. I clicked buttons that I didn't mean to. Um... <laughs> Do I want to go for a raid? <laughs> 
We could read Day. She's playing uh, Permadeath Skyrim with... She has 920 mods installed. That's bananas. Getting that mods, many mods to work together. So I was watching her stream the other day, and uh, her character died. So, because something jumped her from behind, she didn't see. And she's like, oh, no, fuck. And I had enough channel, channel points. She, she has a 100,000 point channel point redemption to revive a permadeath. And I've said maybe three words in her chat for the eight plus months I've been following her. So I don't even think she knows who I actually am. I, I could, I would be willing to bet that. Anyway, um, but I popped in with that 100k, boom, permadeath revive and chat was like yo it's pretty fucking cool um but i don't know she, she's oh no she, she just doubles her amount of viewership right now so we're not gonna go for a raid right there Woo, that's a lot of people uh, you know what we're gonna go raid char oh wait is she ending no that'd be a bummer oh wait is she ending no that'd be a bummer wait Wait, I heard myself speak. Was that through her channel? Ah, oh, shit, she's raiding. Oh, crap. I was gonna go raid uh, Charlizard. She was playing the new Pokemon. And she's... She's a lovely bean. Um, she's raided us multiple times. I've never got the really chance to raid her back. Which is kind of a bummer. Um, so... Hold on. Wow. I'm missing some chat. I'm jealous. I had a burrito though. Let's go. It was good. I made two burritos. But what you two what? Uh winter. Listen. Hi jokester. How's it going? Listen. Bell log for you. How's everything? Eh. All right, there's a lot of people talking. Oh, there it goes. I was wondering where all the sounds were coming from. Oh, you heard my voice. Okay, yeah. That was uh And go blow up Fast Iron Stream. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think we're going to go do anything crazy. Yeah. Damn it. I totally would have go raided her too. Oh, stop. I can hear myself talking. Turn that off. All right. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys have anyone that we can go raid? Nah. If I go raid, then I'm going to hang out here for a minute and I'm going to be a responsible adult. I'm going to go drink some waters, which I lied. I'm going to go drink some apple juice. I'm going to eat some food. I'm going to feed the Jada. I'm going to take my sleep pee pills and go be a responsible adult and try to go to sleep before midnight. <laughs> we'll see if that actually happens, but thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun. Um, If you guys did, Oh, I, I don't do that part of the outro anymore um, because I don't like it. Uh, oh, you, you have someone? Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ah. Twitch. Add Vespers. I don't even know how to pronounce their name. <gasps> I don't know what they're playing, but the name of the game sounds like it might be a feels trip. Is it a field trip? They're playing our life beginning and always. It looks like a, an adventure novel. It's a lot of reading. Oh, it's a visual novel. Uh, yeah, that just from the name. Sounds like it would be a field trip. I like her voice, though. She's got a very soothing voice. Yeah, and she has... Um, since I try to raid people with the, the current amount of like viewers that I have to be about the same. Um, because otherwise, um, to me personally, it feels like, like if I raid someone that has like double or more viewers than me, it feels like... I, in a way, it feels kind of self promote -y. Which I know it probably isn't, but I don't like that because. So say if I bring in like eight people to a stream, 
which I appreciate each and every one of you, obviously. And of course, but if I bring eight people to like a stream of 60, you know, it's kind of feels like you're, I don't even know how to explain it. It kind of feels like the person of 60 was more of like, they'll, they'll, they'll probably be thankful, but it's more like, it feels like I'm trying to get more recognition by just rating them instead of me trying to get them recognition by me rating them. Does that make sense? Like it, it feels kind of underheaded scummy and I hate it. I hate doing that. Um, unless something crazy is happening or, you know, I have a rep or a repertoire with a person like, uh, like Kim, I don't, I don't mind rating her if she has like 30 people in her chat and I have, you know, 10 or eight or five. I don't mind because I'm, I'm active enough in her chat that we know each other, you know, so I don't really mind that her chat already knows me, but if I, most chats I lurk in, there's very few channels that actually actively speak. So I have that, especially if it's a channel I've never been to, I will not read someone that has significantly more viewers than me. Um, it, it feels dirty to me. Um, does that, I'm just rambling at this point. I think you're pessimistic. Also, but, well, yeah, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it, it, it's kind of like, it feels like it, it's not obviously, but my only analogy is like a backhanded compliment. Like, oh, you, you, your nose is looking a lot better today. It's like, what are you talking about? It's like, well, normally it's like, I don't know, I fucked up horrible analogy. Like, say, if you got a black eye from someone, and one day they're like, oh, your your black eye, it like it makes uh, it makes your other eye look less big. It's like. Wait a minute, or it makes your ears look less big. It's like, what the fuck kind of compliment is that? You know what I mean? I don't know, fucking whatever. Um. Oh, also, <laughs> your the stream that you just uh sent me, Winter, they're they're rating, so they're ending as well. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's that's my ramble, man. I fucking ranted a lot today today's been a ranty day i ranted to a couple friends today at work i've ranted to an old work colleague because of things that are happening at work it's it's bananas um let's see um tomorrow's plan is we're going to continue oh god we're going to continue god of war which i'm looking forward to but also not i'm looking forward to it because i want to be i want to get through the series on stream I'm not looking forward to it because, oops, because I have to put on face paint, which is going to suck because I'm growing all this crap out. Because if I happen to play God of War 2018, he's actually got a full face of stuff and I kind of want to go with that. But also putting on all that paint is exhausting. And the worst part is like, I don't remember if three gets worse with the the nip knops and stuff. It's, I hate going through and having to re-edit all that out. Anyway. Anyways, my friends, I'm done rambling. How long does it take to put on all the paint? About an hour. And then I stain my bathtub once I wash it all off. And then I have to clean my bathtub later because it's all colored in red and dyed. So that's fun. I appreciate it. I'm glad you people like it. So what I think um, the idea is I'm going to conti continue using the white as long as I have some white and as long as I'm playing three, whichever runs out first. But it's, if I'm out of white while I'm playing three, I'm not putting on anymore because that's the that's that's like 80 percent of the time it takes to put on. Um, but also got to work 2018. He's less pale. And I don't know why they took that direction. Um, because there's a reasoning why he's obviously pure white. Um, but they, they, they toned it back with the new one, probably because it would just look weird with modern graphics. If someone was super pale, I don't know. Um, but so we'll figure out how the, the, uh, the paints work and stuff, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very long time and the, the paints are not cheap fucking, and I, I've already burned through. Two of the white ones, 
and one of the red ones, I just started another one, and they're not cheap, so it's kind of a kick in the kick in the dick, and uh, all my funds are going to dice stuff now, so <laughs> I need to save money for the dice stuff, and if I want, if I happen to see a PS5 that shows up somewhere that I can get my hands on, that might be something I have to contemplate getting, because New Horizon comes out soon, New God of War comes out soon, um, Integrade for Final Fantasy VII Remake is on um, PS5. Uh, also, there's something else. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Director's Cut, will take your PS4 save and move it to PS5, and I want to see that. All those games I listed already in my brain, or out loud, are PC except for Ghost of Tsushima, technically, but the new ones are not, and there's no telling how long the new ones will take to come out of, or to come out on PC. But I, in reality, I would much prefer those games I just listed off to play on PC because then they're not console locked. You have them forever and you can play them whenever you want. Better graphics, better frames, just all around better. But at the same time, if I get a PS5, then I get a jailbreak my PS4 and then I can play Bloodborne PS4 60 frames per second randomizer and that sounds like a fucking blast and you cannot get bloodborne on pc so <gasps> although someone did a bloodborne demake they're calling it a demake so it's bloodborne with playstation one graphics kind of thing and they kind they kind of remade it and the whole the whole system and a couple people have been playing it online already and i'm like this looks like so much fun. I just posted it in the Discord under like game chat or something. Go check it out. That is definitely going up on my like soon to play list because I love Bloodborne. If you've been a part of the channel, you know that. But that is, uh, that's got me excited. Plus, I would love a Bloodborne too. Or if they ported it to PC, I would obviously play. Speaking of, I still have the uh, community awards to do uh, Bloodborne minis paint and the board gameplay. I, it's still in my brain. That's so much work to do and uh, a lot of effort. But one of these days we'll get to it. If I could, I would be able to refund it to everyone. Just be like, I'll do the, the thing again later, but everyone get your channel points back. But you can't do that. It sucks. So it just has to sit there. Like, like uh, I'm not doing anything with it. You saw Thanks. Yeah, I have some more cooking in the pressure pot now. And I have a lot. I, they have to be, I have many that need to be polished and inked still. And I keep making more. And I'm getting behind, so I don't know. Maybe this weekend, I was thinking about it when Serial brought it up. Maybe we'll do the R2D2 Lego build stream this weekend. And if that only takes maybe two hours, it's probably going to take longer. If it takes maybe two hours, um, maybe we can go to a BRB screen and maybe we can do a dice stream or something afterwards to try to catch back up and show you what's going on. Yeah, a dice stream. Because there's a couple... The sets, the picture I posted is just like horrible lighting, and I'm literally at my right, my work desk. So they they look okay, but it's not fancy. But I would like to get some nice pictures up and stuff. And plus, when I do a dice stream, then you guys get to see them up close and pretty. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do something like that. And those are always fun. Play some good tunes, hang out with friends, chatting away, making some dice. All right, um, I need to stop rambling. I'm 30 minutes over time of just rambling. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you guys so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. Um, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It very much means a lot. Um, but remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt a shop. Donate to a rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience. And helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. I don't know where Jade is at. On the other side of the pillow. She always goes to the other side. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Jada, you hungry, hungry hippo. You want? Come on, let's get some food. Let's go.